<laughs> Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> Roll call, please. Move on to citizen comments. Citizen comments. Citizen comments are closed. Announcements to the chairman. I just appreciate everyone that came in this evening, braving the rough weather. Drive carefully home. We'll try to make this meeting as short and sweet as possible. Supervisor reports. We'll go on to supervisor reports. Supervisor Rose, you have the floor. All right, <clears throat> thank you, Mr. Chairman and board members. Uh, recently, I was talking with uh, one of the jailers at our jail facility who made the comment that the jails are becoming the local new mental health institution. He had worked at the county jail for a number of years and commented to me as a supervisor that um, he has seen a ever-increasing number of people who are housed in the county jail with serious mental health problems. Uh, this is an issue that uh, is one which uh, flows throughout the country. If you read um, recent issues of our national county uh, newspaper, uh, they relate that many communities throughout this country uh, are noticing that county jails are becoming new mental health institutions. And this is something that has been fairly new in the last uh, five years, and it's a building problem. Uh, in our most recent budget, we had uh, an increase in mental health uh, uh, expense of some $200,000 uh, offered by the Sheriff's Department, which we approved, and, and I think it's a very positive step. But one can see that this is going to become a more costly issue as time goes on and as the problems increase. This particular jailer who commented to me said that uh, we don't really have the training to deal with the kind of mental health uh, issues that we are seeing. And I can see that this is going to be a ever building problem. And what I would urge, Mr. Chairman, that you consider uh, in cooperation with the county executive of, of appointing a volunteer group of local health care professionals who can take a look at this problem and perhaps offer some solutions. We used to have a psychiatric ward here in Kenosha at St. Catherine's Hospital when it was located on 7th Avenue. That was terminated. So our, our local health, uh, mental health facilities are, are not expanding, they're less. If you look at some of those old black and white movies uh, where mental health, mental health patients are, were housed as inmates in local jails and prisons in England, and one questions are, are we, is this the, the new type of uh, comparable uh, facility uh, as in those old black and white movies? I offer no suggestions, no uh, solutions to these problems this evening. But I do think that, Mr. Chairman, you, you and the executive ought to meet and talk about this issue and consider appointing a group of uh, experts in the field, that people who are psychiatrists, psychologists, therapists, who deal with mental health patients and individuals so that our local jail doesn't become an ever increasing, uh, have an ever increasing population. Uh, which uh, has mental health, uh, mental health problems, which can be a danger to our staff as well as other people in the county jail. Thank you. Thank you, Supervisor Rose. I'll be meeting with uh, the executive later this week, and we'll, we'll bring in the sheriff also on this. Uh, thank you for that. Supervisor Elberman, you have the floor. 
Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We uh, had our Highway Parks Golf Facilities meeting last evening. Um, I'm just going to hit the items that aren't going to come back before you. We, we did pass some uh, ordinances and resolutions last evening, but all, all those important things are going to come right back to this board at our next meeting. So a couple of things that aren't. Um, we approved a new rate for the dog parks. Uh, we didn't change any rates, but we approved one for a non-resident disabled. We didn't have one. We had someone stop that was a non-resident disabled, so we did a new rate. Uh, we also uh, approved the new golf rates for this upcoming year with no changes in uh, cost. The loan change was a new rate for a golf cart uh, season pass. Uh, so that, that was uh, last evening. Everything else that we discuss is going to come before this board at our next meeting. Thank you. Thank you, Supervisor Elderman. Supervisor Boyd Frederick, you have the floor. Yeah. On the 28th of January, Supervisor Hellman and I went up to the Ambassador's Day with the Wisconsin Counties Association to talk to legislators about uh, different topics. The topics that they had us talking to them about was the 911 service. Right now, 75 cents on your phone bill says it goes towards 911. It actually goes into general funding, not towards 911. We were requesting it does actually go back to that. Hmm. Also, for prison parole, right now, the you can get up to $40 according to statute in or for when uh, the state houses someone here. Last year we got $32.84 and we don't know where that funding is going to go. We think with this next budget it may be going down instead of more towards what the statute states. Also, uh, the county clerk was with us up there part of the time and one of the major things we're looking at is a change in, in where they would post the minutes and election items. And she spoke on that to many of the different legislators up there on what it costs for the county to actually do this on a bi-weekly basis. Also the last thing is, and we've seen it since uh, we were up there, is was tra transportation funding and it looks like it's going to be about $1.6 billion this year. We had no idea when we were up there how much that would be. Uh, the day we went up there was very interesting timed. We have to be up there with TV cameras when uh, they, they delivered a letter on the casino, 10 different legislators from this area. And Channel 6 was there talking to Senator Wangard and Representative Barker while we were up there. And as many of you may know, the budget address for the governor is happening as we speak. I, so we have no idea what it will mean to the county for the next two year times budgets. Thank you, Supervisor Frederick. Seeing no other lights, clerk, read the appointments, please. County Executive Appointments, number 36, Sandra Basiglia to serve on the Kenosha County Board of Administrative Appeals. Refer to Human Service Committee. Number 37, Edmund Weaver to serve on the Kenosha County Aging and Disability Resource Center Board. We sir, refer to Human Service Committee. New Business, Resolution, one reading. 87 from Human Services Committee, a resolution to approve the appointment of James Schmidt to the Kenosha County Veterans Service Commission. Submitted by Supervisors Hallman, yes. Gable, yes. Anita Johnson, yes. Aaron Decker, excused. David Arrington, absent. Supervisors Blau, yes. And Retzloff, yes. Supervisor Hallman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. If there's no objection, I'd like to move Resolution 87, Resolution 88, Resolution 89, Resolution 90, Resolution 91, and Resolution 92 upon being read. Is there any objections to that? Seeing none, go ahead and read it in the record, and after you're done reading the record, we'll vote on it as a whole. Okay. Resolution 88 from... Pardon me? Uh, from Human Services Committee, a resolution to approve the appointment of Supervisor Michael Gable to the Co Kenosha County Human Services Board. Submitted by Supervisors Hallman, Gable, Anita Johnson, yes. Aaron Je Decker, excused. David Arrington, absent. Uh, Supervisors Blau, yes. Retzloff, yes. 89, from Human Services Committee, a resolution to approve the appointment of Supervisor Rick Dodge to the Kenosha County Human Services Board. Submitted by Supervisors Hallman, yes. Gable, yes. Anita Johnson, yes. Aaron Decker, excused. David Arrington, absent. Supervisors Blau, yes. Rutzloff, yes. 
90 from Human Services Committee, a resolution to approve the appointment of Janice Erickson to the Kenosha County Commission on Aging. Submitted by Supervisors Hallman, yes, Gable, yes, Anita Johnson, yes, Decker excused, Arrington absent, Blau, yes, Retzloff, yes. 91 from Human Services Committee, a resolution to approve the appointment of Julie Ray Friedman to the Kenosha County Commission on Aging. Submitted by Supervisors Hallman, yes, Gable, yes, Anita Johnson, yes, Decker excused, Arrington absent, Supervisors Blau, yes, Retzloff, yes. And number 92 from Human Services Committee, a resolution to approve the appointment of Herschel Rialis to the Kenosha County Commission on Aging. Submitted by Supervisors Hallman, yes, Gable, yes, Anita Johnson, yes, uh, Decker excused, Arrington absent, Supervisors Blau, yes, and Retzloff, yes. Okay, uh, Supervisor Hallman, would you move all those together and then I'll get a second and then uh We'll just vote on it all as a whole then, okay? okay. I, if I'm not mistaken, I believe Supervisor Gantz seconded, seconded it. it. Okay, I'm sorry. So it's been moved by Supervisor Hallman, seconded by Supervisor Gantz to move all these 87 through 92, simple majority. All those in favor, say aye. aye. All those opposed, yes. What's your question, Supervisor Noble? Um, in past, last year, right. uh, we always had the attendance for the people succeeding themselves. We, we would have on the resolution what their attendance was. Okay. So my question is, first and foremost, I'd like to see that pra uh, practice continue. But then my question to the chair of the committee, did you, were you advised of what the attendance was for these people that are succeeding themselves? For the very least, I think the public should know that the people being appointed are actually attending the meetings. Uh, through the chair to uh, the supervisor noble um, that's certainly a legitimate question um, those were not raised during any of our meetings as I'm sure you will tell from listening to the audio uh, moving forward we will certainly keep that in mind and try to abide by it so thank you for the heads up okay and to make it easier I think it should just be like it used to be right in the resolution then we know good point okay thank you thank you supervisor Ritzloff nothing nothing there okay all right, so we moved, moved and seconded, and it's been passed by everybody. We'll move on to the next order of business. Claims, please. Number 33, Jason Grant Striplin, vehicle damage. Refer to Corporation Council. Number 34, Jasmine Curtis Coleman, vehicle damage. Refer to Corporation Council. Point of order, Mr. Chairman? Yeah. Um, I, I don't believe. Excuse me? I, I don't believe we took a vote. Yeah, we did. I, I said it was a simple majority, and, and I said uh, okay. 87 through 90. Okay. Now, there was just some question behind me, so I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. Okay. We voted. Yeah, but I vote and you were interrupted. I don't know yes. if you asked for an able. Okay. All right, let's go back to the vote now. Okay. The vote is anybody, everyone that's in favor of moving resolution. 87 through 92 as read, say aye. 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 All those opposed, 87 through 92? None, okay, so passes unanimously. I hope that clears up the mud. Okay, <laughs> we'll move on to, did you get interrupted on claim 34? No, we finished that. We, we finished that, we'll, okay, we'll go on to approval then. Approval of the January 20th, 2015 minutes by Supervisor Gable. Supervisor Gable. I move, do we accept the minutes? Is there, there's a second by Supervisor Esposito. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Motion to adjourn. You should say that the date of the minutes. Oh, okay. There's been a motion to adjourn by Vice Chair Bruning, a second by Supervisor John O'Day. All those in favor of adjournment? Aye. aye. Thank you. Don't My lights staying on. Yes, you go.